Hey there, Brian Goulet here of GouletPens.com, and I'm really excited to talk to you about these pens today. These are from Tactile Turn, which is actually a new company that just started uh, a couple of years ago and really came to the fountain pen scene at the end of 2015 uh, with the launch of a successful Kickstarter project. They are selectively going out to retailers, and we are one of the first to be able to introduce them. So I'm pretty excited about that. It was started by Will Hodges, who is down in Richardson, Texas, and Will and I have been emailing back and forth since last year, so I've gotten to have a little bit of you know rapport with him, and now that he's ready to retail his pens, it's pretty exciting. So I want to just give you a run through on what is up with Tactile Turn. Now one of the cool things about these pens is there's a lot of different materials that you can get out of them. We're kind of you know walking before we run here, so we're only going to actually be carrying two of them to start at Goulet Pens. One is the polycarbonate, which is really an interesting finish. If you're familiar with the Lamy 2000, it's the same material that's used in the Lamy 2000. It's called Macrolon, so it's a very durable plastic with a fiberglass reinforcement. It's very light and it really holds up over time. The next one is copper. Now obviously copper is a heavy metal and it's going to be a much heavier, very durable pen, but what's really cool about copper is it's going to patina over time. Of course you can polish it up if you want to keep it shiny, but it's going to look really nice if you just let it go natural. Now Will has actually played around with some other materials too that are kind of interesting and we may explore here in the future, so I'll go ahead and mention them. He's got ones made out of solid brass. Titanium, which is a very durable material and a much lighter alternative to brass or copper. He has Damascus steel, which is steel with this really interesting pattern to it. And he's even played around with some experimental stuff like zirconium, which I understand is pretty rare. So if you look on the Tactile Turn site, because he does sell direct, you'll notice he has all different parts and pieces and you can mix and match materials on finials and grips and stuff like that. We're not going to have that ability to do that out the gate at Goulet. We're sticking just with the solid pens. So holding the pen in my hand, it's actually got a very interesting feel to it that is unique to this pen. It has grooves that are cut that go around the whole pen so that when you're rubbing your fingers lengthwise against the body of the pen, it gives kind of a tingling sensation, almost as if you're running your finger down a zipper. I will say the texture of this pen is going to be something that's going to be kind of polarizing. Some people around our office absolutely love it, like myself. Other people, it just gives them the heebie-jeebies and they don't want anything to do with it. So I think it's going to be a kind of thing, it's tough for me to explain in a video, but as soon as you touch it with your fingers, you're going to know whether or not you like it. But I will say that um, texture aside, the body of the pen, the size, the dimensions of it are really pleasant and actually very, very complimentary for small and large hands. That's one thing that I've really liked about this pen. The polycarbonate one especially is very light. So posted or unposted, you can use it really well and it's very well balanced. The copper one's gonna be a little heavier, obviously you're probably gonna wanna use that one unposted, but it's a very pleasant tapered grip. And because of the texture of the grip, even if you're using a metal pen, it's gonna have a nice firm hold on it so it's not going to be slipping around in your hands and one of the, th the the nice touches I like the best about this pen is the fact that it has threads on here for the cap but the threads are actually tapered so if you do happen to rest your fingers on there it's very comfortable so the gist uses a number six size German made Bach nib that you can get an extra fine fine medium and a 1.1 millimeter stub. They do have a broad, but we're opting not to carry that at Goulet for the time being as of the video launch here. And the nice thing about these nibs is they are fairly wet flow and quite smooth. So it's a very pleasant writing experience, but it's a German nib, so it's not gonna be quite as fine as some of the Japanese nibs. It's overall gonna be a very positive experience though. And because it's that number six size, you can swap it out with other brand nibs like Keras Customs, or you can even fit a Goulet nib on there if you wanna make it all stealthy and get a black nib, that'd be pretty cool. So the only weird thing about these nibs, and I've seen this with Keras Customs as well, for whatever reason Bach, with the extra fine through the broads, they don't actually put a nib size designation on these nibs, so you have to kind of know what it is that you have. We'll make sure we send you the right thing, but it's only the 1.1 that actually has the nib size on it. So the cap on the gist is a screw cap with a push to post on the back of it. I will say that the screw cap, it takes a couple of turns though. It's two and a half rotations, so it's not something you'll be able to just do with a single twist. But it does post pretty firmly on the back. And the clip is really durable. Will was, you know, pretty intentional when he designed this clip because he says he likes to carry around his pen, you know, on his jeans pocket. So he wanted something that was really sturdy enough to be able to work on there like that. But you know, I've worn it on other types of clothing as well. It doesn't have 
have to be something as thick and durable as jeans. It definitely works on other clothes too. And then a nice little hack that I found is you can actually take a grip and you can remove the finial and pull off the clip altogether if you really want to have a clipless pen. So when it comes to filling the pen, it's a standard international, um, but it does have a slightly shorter converter. So it's a little bit different than the typical standard international converter you'll see. It's more like the Monteverde Clear converter that we already have available on our site. So it's almost the same ink capacity, maybe slightly less than your typical converter. At the same time, it is standard international and it will accept both short and long cartridges. So if you wanna refill cartridges too, that's also a good option for you. And as a bonus, the polycarbonate pen can actually be eyedropper converted and you can fill the whole body with ink. All right, so since this is a completely new brand, completely new style of pen, I thought it'd be good to just show you a couple of comparable pens. Uh, the first one would be the Lamy 2000. Definitely got some differences to them. You know, the gist is a screw cap. It's less expensive, has a steel nib. It's a cartridge converter, as opposed to the Lamy 2000, which is a piston fill with a gold nib, a hooded nib at that, and has the snap cap. Another good one to compare to, especially the copper version, is the Keras Customs Fountain K. Somewhat similar in size, the design is very different, but both, you know, American-made machined solid copper pens. Uh, the nibs are different. It's a number five nib on the Keras Customs as opposed to the number six on the Gist, but they're both fantastic pens. Last one I want to compare it to is the Edison Nouveau Premier, which really any of the Edisons you can compare it to, but uh, this is another one that's American made. Now these ones are made of acrylic acetate resin as opposed to the polycarbonate, but very durable, div completely different design, more of a vintage thing as opposed to the modern on the gist, uh, but I thought it was also worth comparing. So depending on the material, that's going to affect the price of these pens. The design is the same for really any version that you get. The polycarbonate is $99, which is really nice for getting that for under 100, especially being made in the US like this. The copper one is gonna be more expensive. It's a little harder to machine. The material is more expensive, so you're looking at $139. And of course, the other materials that you can look into, prices will vary as well. So there's a little intro for you on Tactile Turn and their flagship pen, the Gist. You can learn more at gouletpens.com. Check out some detailed measurements and specifications as well as some of the awesome pictures that we have on the product pages at Goulet Pens. And if you like this video and you want to see more like it, you can check out our YouTube channel and subscribe there. I would love to hear what you think of this pen. You can leave comments on YouTube and on our blog. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and right on.